Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome along the Aaron Payne Cup Grand Final between Kerwin State High School and Ignatius Park. Uh, it's a big game. I'm, uh, my name is Michael Nelson, uh, taking you through this one. Join beside me, though, former Cowboy and Warriors legend, and I don't use the word legend lo loosely, even though he may think I am, Georgie Gaddis. Welcome along, mate. Uh, absolute pleasure to be here today. Looking forward to watching this final. Mate, uh, it's going to be a big game. Obviously, these guys uh, played two weeks ago in the final round of the Aaron Payne Cup round robin section. And uh, Iggy Park came out and uh, really turned uh, and upset uh, the Kerwin boys by giving them a, a bit of a touch-up. It was about 28 points to four, um, whereas Kerwin had gone through the rest of this season quite easy. And uh, Iggy Park had the loss against Cathedral uh, Rockhampton uh, early on in the, the round. So... It's going to be, a, it's leading up for a big game between these two teams. Yeah, traditionally this is a very tight contest between both schools. There's a, there's a lot of history and there's, there's certainly a, a, a lot of, uh, there, there, there is a lot of, um, a lot on offer here for these players today. They, they they've, they're, they're always fighting out tough battles. Uh, 20, 24 years ago. I played for the Kerwin Bears, and uh, I don't think nothing's changed today. You know, you, you come out fired up to play these big games. Just quickly go through the team lists right now. Kerwin up on the screen, as you can see. Uh, Ragsy Wabick in uh, fullback. Uh, Torres Woods out this week. Jesse Yallop uh, in the two. Dudley Dodoy, Max Haley, Ethan Andrews finishes up your backs. The halves, Haley Taylor and Clay George. Uh, your props, Ab uh, Abai Ch uh, Charfield Mooka and uh, Cruz Smith and uh, the uh, ever-reliable dummy half, Tai Tai Baragella. Uh, the second row, uh, Mia Puavasi and Jeremiah Nanai, who uh, won this year's uh, uh, Michael Morgan Best and Ferris for the Aaron Payne Cup, uh, and Jacob Taya in the lock position. Uh, the reserves, Ethan Roberts, uh, William Latu, uh, Marangi and Tyron Strickland, and the coach Todd Wilson, a very strong side on paper, the Kerwin side. I'm I'm really excited to see young Byron Gala today. I haven't had an opportunity to watch him play, but I've played against his father uh, on many occasions. And uh, Roy was uh, one of the toughest to get around this North Queensland competition for many years, and I'm really excited to watch his boy play today. Excellent, but Iggy Park uh, line up as follows: Kathan Hill, Raheen Rolf, uh, Jake McCullough, Fickling, Eddie Hampson, Andrew Brunello, Brayton Knox, Thomas Duffy, Trey Valentine, Maverick Pegararo, Isaiah Va uh, Valelo, we, as we found out the pronunciation, Adam Mitchell, Wade Johnson, Luke Jack, Lachlan Lurch, Jacob Valelo, and Sean Burke and Damon Marshall, and the coach Stephen Lansley. As we take our moment for the national anthem. Beautiful rendition of the national anthem there. As I was saying, George, it's going to be a, it's a big game. I think this game is going to be played in the forwards. Both back lines are extremely fast, but I think this is going to be won and lost in the forwards today between these two sides. As are most of these big games, and particularly at schoolboy level, ball, ball control is going to be paramount today. Eggy Park have got a big breeze behind them this first half, so it be really interesting to see how they control possession in this first half. They could certainly go a long way to... Uh, um, setting up a good platform for a win today, if they are, if they if they treat it carefully. Definitely uh, going to be interesting to see how Kerwin uh, line up for this one. Obviously, a couple of injuries. Uh, Torres Woods, as I said just before, out. Uh, their uh, influential fullback is out. So Ragsy Wavik moving from halfback into fullback, and Clay George, who normally plays in the centres, uh, has moved uh, into the seven today. He's the captain. He has been probably one of their best players on on, on the field, uh, aside from Nanai. Uh, so it's definitely going to be a big ask. Uh, for both sides to see who goes through to play in the, the state final next week. Kickoff as we go right now. It's a wavy one. You can see that wind causing some issues already. They've done well to keep that in, though. I think that might have been uh, the 5'8 Harley Taylor there that uh, finally picked that one up. And it uh, looks like Cruz Smith now bringing up the first hit. Travel, he born in Perth and moved all the way over here. So uh, it's good to see that the, uh, the West Australians are getting out there and playing some good footy. He's contracted with the Cowboys as well. There, the competition over Western Australia has certainly improved over the over the years, and it's good to see them making their way into the NRL. 
Looks like uh, maybe Tao there uh, pulling it through. Definitely holding down. Borigala in the half throws out. Looks like uh, Cruz Smith again by another hit up there. Getting in early and getting some uh, some metres up already. Yeah, young young Cowboys contracted player. He looks very likely today, and that's that's a really good first set by the Kerwin Bears. Oh. Force an error early on, Kathan Hill, normally very safe with the ball in his hands. Uh, he's had a little bit of a look uh, before that one, seen the defence coming down and uh, left the ball behind. Obviously nerves are very high here today, Mick. It was a bit of a, a nervy start for both sides. We, we saw the fumble from Kerwin Bears off the kickoff and, and on, on the first possession there, the young fullback here had a little fumble. Kerwin on, on the attack now, 20 metres out. Now going on form from what Kerwin normally do, they will swing this wide pretty quickly and try and get their outside backs to uh, just to run rings around them. But uh, Iggy Park will be up to them. Iggy Park shut them down two weeks ago just uh, by uh, shutting down their forwards, really. It basically gave them no forward movement at all. Dodoy playing in the centres now. Hits the first hit up there. Byra Gala moving into half. Crew Smith, another hit up already. Bustling run. Held up quite short there. Luke Jack uh, done a great job. He's has been one of their best players for Iggy Park. Looks like Puvasi pushing through. Nah, doesn't look like we've got the ball down there. Someone's put a head down. Oh, not good here. Yeah, he, he certainly put his body on the line there, the big Iggy up front row. Not not quite sure who that one is. I think it I think it's Valalo. No, no, it's not. No, I can tell you who it is. Just looking at the screen there, looks like one of the second rowers, to be honest with you. Because uh, Vailalo's uh, at the back there and so is Trey Valentine. So uh, we can uh, see once we get a number, they'll be able to work out exactly who it is. I'm sure there's people at home that know who it is, but uh, we'll find we got out it. in a minute. We've got the vision obstructed there with the referee and the trainer at the moment. But he got off, he got up off the line and he, and he put his body on the line, the young Iggy Park forward there and he's he's, he's copped some heavy collision he's he, he looks like he'll he'll come off for uh, some type of uh, head injury assessment before going back to the field i'd say i've got to ask you that george and without trying to make a joke out of a, a situation uh, does that classify as a falcon because he stopped the try with his head he all got put down on his head so he's he's literally put his whole body on the line taking the hit and also stopping the try with his head he, so, uh, he, he definitely put he definitely put his head to good work, good use there. The the big forward uh, a little bit wobbly. I'll be surprised if he stays on, but he, he's, he's plenty tough and he's he's taking a sip and it looks like he's going to continue on here. I said it last week. They need to bring back the magic sponge. Yeah, I, I, I'm not too sure how that magic sponge would go in this uh, COVID age now. There's uh, yeah, true that. <laughs> plenty plenty of germs getting passed around there. Everybody having a suck and a bite on it, but um, still looking a little bit lost out there. But they've obviously passed the first test there. They play may... looks to continue here. On I think it's on the third tackle. Crew Smith. That was sadly that was soft defence under the goalpost there from Iggy Park. Crew Smith just dives straight through that. Just, just a little bit unorganised that that Ignatius Park defence there on the try line, and not sure if that uh, that injury there just quickly just upset their defensive pattern. But uh, that, that Crew Smith's had a couple of really good touches early. He's got a big, he's a he's a big big frame on this young kid, and he looks like he's going to be some type of player in the future. Yeah, if you look at the the uh, the replay that just played before there, you could just see him quickly go through that the, the gap there was they just didn't num didn't seem to number up very very well at all, Ignatius Park there. So uh, early blood uh, to uh, Kerwin, uh, which they did last game as well. So uh, I'm not going to sit here and write anything off already. I mean that'll only spur on Ignatius Park to come back bigger and better uh, from this. We're yet to have any possession in the game, um, Ignatius Park at this stage. Uh, they've done they've done all the defending so far. That was a, a really important start for Kerwin, running into this breeze uh, to get some points on the board, just to settle some nerves. Uh, a good opportunity now to, uh, to complete another set and keep on piling the pressure on this Ignatius Park outfit. Harley Taylor lining this one up uh, without putting the curse on him. You would think this will be a, a fairly easy kick for him. Yeah, simple conversion there for Kerwin. That makes the score six points to nil. Just over oh, 24 and a half minutes to go in this one. So early blood to Kerwin, as I said. Uh, but this will only spur Ignatius Park on. 
This Ignatius Parkside have, have got some Queensland reps in, out within their forward pack, and it'll be interesting to see them settle into this match now. Trey Valentine, um, young Damon Marshall, and uh, who's, who's coming off the bench, as well as uh, Luke Jack. I'm really looking forward to seeing their involvement here in this in the next 10 minutes in the game. Looks like Cruz Smith again, but he may have pulled up with a bit of an injury to the shoulder there. Iggy Park, uh, a bit keen to get up on that one and shut him down early, but uh, penalty goes to Kerr in the first penalty of the game on this one. So uh, we'll see what happens here. They've been trying to kick it out this week for the last couple of games that have been here at uh, Neil Stewart Park. The breeze has been really blowy and uh, they haven't really been gaining a huge amount of uh, yards from these kicks, as you can see from that one there. Probably no more than five metres on the kick then. Would it be better just to take the tap and run on? No, no, I think they made the right decision. You know, just, just to get that ball to um, out of play and uh, get that set restart a little bit further down the field. Um, Kerr and tap off here uh, with a set play off the tap. It's unusual. That normally in this day and age of the rugby league, that would have been called a knock-on, but... Uh, referees let that one go and uh, come off the hands. I mean, I agree it went backwards, but uh, the way they call them these days, it's a bit hard to tell. Pulvasi once again takes the hit up. They've certainly, they've certainly got some big forwards that are very willing to work early here in the first half for the Kerwin Bears. Wavik coming in, chiming in from the back there. Obviously, you've got to refine his feet uh, in the fullback position. Play, been playing halfback all season. Nanai bustling run Michael Morgan medal winner for this year the best in Ferris uh, in the Aaron Payne Cup and uh, got shut out of the last game against Iggy Park though they kept him very very quiet and hence uh, you know I don't think it was played at here we go for Ignatius Park uh, ball turned over on the 10 meter line their first possession in the game Trey Valentine fell on that one uh, Kerwin bending back though Really important, really important here for Iggy. Just to get to a set completion. They've got a big breeze behind them. Just to start working their way into the match with a good kick chase here. Just to start turning a bit of pressure around on this Kerwin Bears outfit to who's had all the ball. And that was Rolf that just played the ball. Luke Jack passes out to Belalo. Even he's been pushed back. Kerwin are hungry here in defence at the moment. Uh, they will need a big kick to get themselves out of this one. He's That's got some good purchase on that the, the young half there, Braithen Knox. That was a great kick out, out of his end of the field. Ragsy Wavik breaks the first tackle, but then pulled down by Trey Valentine, and it looks like uh, Pegararo there in the headgear. He's got a different set of headgear every week, Pegararo. Noticeably here, this, this a few of these Kerwin forwards are very slow to get back. They've, they've only been asked to do one set in defence, so that's that's an, uh, that's a concerning signs early in this uh, second, uh, early in this first half. Uh, Max Haley there plays with Barragala, Clay George, Clay George, the skipper there takes a good run up. What a mucking around right in front of us here, down holding down. Puavasa once again, looks like he's struggling. Looks like he might be ready for an instant. Interchange already. Wavik out to Taylor with a big kick. It's holding up nicely in the wind, though. Kathan Hill's made amends for that early mistake in the game. Gets through that first tackle, too. I'll tell you what, Mick, I wouldn't like to be a fullback out there today. This no. wind is really howling, and it's uh, causing the fullbacks all sorts of pressure trying to judge where that ball's coming down. Penalty for in the ruck there. It's one of those things you've got to make an effort to get out of there. I know it's a bit tough underneath, but you've really got to make an effort to get out of that. Thomas Duffy there. Super boot, as I've been calling him this season. Has, I, haven't, I don't think I've seen him miss a kick in all the games that I've commentated for Ignatius Park this uh, Aaron Payne Cup season. So uh, hopefully I, <laughs> I have a tendency to put the mocker on kickers, so hopefully I haven't done that yet. Belalo there, bustling run up through the middle there. Taken down by Cruz Smith and uh, Mooka as well. Trey Valentine. Taken heavily there in that in that tackle there by the, the young centre on that far side of the field. Great great tackle from Dudley Dottoy. Bailalo once again. Uh, Trey does a great job. I mean, he's a second rower. Let's not uh, let's not fool anyone here. But he does what he needs to do for the team, and he's been asked to play in the prop position, and he's done. Gets the ball out. Probably wasn't necessary to get that ball out there. Probably should have just taken the tackle and gone down there. 
Uh, done well. There's that shoulder again for Cruz Smith. He's got a few issues out there. Yep. Curlin bunching up a little bit already, though. It's, um, I think you're right, Georgie. They're looking a little bit tight. They've gone hard early and maybe a uh, good tackle there. Put the player on the back. It's nice and cool here sitting in the shade, Mick, but I assure you, out in that, out in that field. Jesse Yallop, sorry to cut you off there, mate. Jesse Yallop made a great little break, kept his feet, done well to get to the 30 there from Jesse Yallop. Blistering speed he has too, if you see him in the open. Wavik, oh, Ragsy Wavik's just the big left footer. Goose step and over. Mate, uh, that try set up though by a great run from Jesse Yallop. If you look early on there, you can see in the replay here, Jesse Yallop gets taken down, plays the ball, quick uh, acting half there from Byra Gala. Left foot step there, it's just left, left him absolutely grasping at air and done well to get over the try line there. That was fantastic footwork from Wavik. It re really showed some exceptional speed and, and, and great stepping. He just, he just, he bamboozled them there and uh, it was a really good try uh, I, I, on the back of a Ignatius Park mistake down the other end. Yep, definitely uh, does hurt when you're trying to push that pass and they probably didn't I mean, it looked like it might have been an all right opportunity, but just didn't get that pass away. He was falling and trying to pass the ball back. It's just a, a nightmare for the, for the for the half at the time, whoever's in that going into half. And it looked like Pegararo's there. It was just nowhere near him. So that... It just looked like there was a bit of a momentum swing starting to happen there for for the Ignatius Park side. They, they just started to work their way back into the field. They got down to um, some good ball at, uh, at, um, at the attacking end, uh, unfortunately came up with the unforced error. and. Uh, released all that pressure. Harley Taylor lining up for this one. The score 10-0 at the moment with the kick to come. Uh, seven and a half minutes to go in the first half here. Now, don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, uh, later on this evening, uh, on uh, you'll be able to, I'm sure you'll be able to find it out there. 5:15 uh, p.m. Palm Beach Grumman taking on Kibra in uh, the Langer Cup Grand Final down which in Brisbane. Uh, the winner of that will be play the winner of this next week up here in Townsville. So uh, it's going to be huge. That'll be, that'll be huge for one of these two schools out here today. Uh, I remember playing a, a, a final against Kibra Park uh, at Dairy Farmer Stadium in front of 26,000 people. It was uh, the, the, the first time, the first time a Townsend side had won the state final, and uh, we, were, we were part of a Kerwin Bears side. We were lucky enough to do that. Um, so great, great memories here at schoolboy level that you take with you forever, and uh, and, and they'll treasure. The winner of this will treasure that next week. Just to explain to everyone what just happened then as well, obviously, uh, as we were talking there, the kick uh, was unsuccessful. One flag out, one flag down, and then the referees decided no, not good. So the score 10-0, 16 and a half minutes in the first half here in favour of Kerwin. So it's definitely uh, Iggy, Iggy Park did a good set of def uh, defensive set here to keep Kerwin in their half with this win. They're not going to get a huge amount on the kick, so uh, they need to really muscle up here. Iggy Park, Luke Jack. But uh, Tay, uh, he's just a man, man. These forwards, I, I tell you what, like, I'm 44 years old, George, and I don't even think I'd be able to take these boys on. Young Tay has been really impressive early. You know, it's just every every carry he's had has been strong. He's getting up over the advantage line. He's pushing up in support uh, for his for his teammates as well. He, he's, he's started the game really strongly today. Interchange player on there, number 15, Latu. Uh, big uh, first run, swinging wide now. Dotoy, the pace to burn. Look at him go. Three try, hat trick from last week's semi final, and he's in again this week to continue on that form. Dudley Dotoy there, ladies and gentlemen. He's just, he's just got the, just a plethora of pace there, and uh, great try. You can see the replay there. Nanai drew and passed there, and Dotoy just inside. Winger stayed on his player, and. Um, the centre wasn't there to make that tackle. It was a really nice touch there from Jeremiah Nano. He, he just he just held up the defence and just created a little just created a little bit of space there for Dudley Dotoy and, and he showed a real clean set of heels to uh, finish that off. Kerwin are on a mission here. They really want to make amends for that uh, lost uh, game two weeks ago to Ignatius Park. They've uh, obviously looked back at the video from that game and uh, seen where they needed to improve because uh, Iggy Park did a great job in that game of shutting down the forwards for Kerwin, whereas uh, this week the, the, the forwards have come out hard early for Kerwin to uh, try and uh, set a dominance there early on. Yeah, they've just they've just been they've just been let down at the back end of their set of six 
the, this Ignatius Park. They haven't they haven't been able to utilise uh, utilise this breeze quite as well as they they may uh, early in this first half. And Kerwin at the moment they're just having no problems rolling out of their end and just providing some good early ball for their outside backs who are just showing the class early in this match. Harley Taylor lining up once again right out on the sideline there. It's going to be a tough kick with this breeze, but we'll see what he gets to do here. Looks like he's pushed it across the front once again. So that makes the score 14 points to nil at the moment to Kerwin State High School, ladies and gentlemen. 13, just under 14 minutes left in the first half here. So we're about to have an interchange go on for Ignatius Park. The number 17, Damon Marshall, uh, runs on. Looks like Trey Valens on uh, taking a rest there, a well-earned rest as well. That's not a bad replacement there for this Ignatius Park. You're, you're taking off one Queensland rep and replacing him with another. Looking forward to watching Ooh, a little this bubble. young Damon Marshall. Little bobble that did well to re-sorry to catch off there once again, George. A little bobble there. I thought he was thought he was going to put that one down, but uh, done well to regather before the defensive line got there to meet him. Yeah, look, there's the, both teams are littered with Queensland and Australian rep players over the last couple of years, so they definitely uh, uh, it's it's probably the best of the best from North Queensland right on the field at the moment, and, they're, and they're probably the two best and has been for quite some time in North Queensland. The two best sides uh, on the field right now, and the the two best sides for South East Queensland uh, be playing this afternoon. So uh, it's going to be a mouth-watering grand final next week for the state championship. Despite the fact Kerwin have definitely got off to a fl flyer here, I don't think Iggy are that far out of this. They, uh, the, Kerwin have been able to control the ball a little bit early so far in this match. I think if Iggy can just get a little bit of steady possession, they can really work their way back into this match. All right, so uh, Kerwin with the penalty here. Just going through the hands to start with their uh, Tai, <coughs> excuse me. Driven back a bit in that tackle, which is good to see from Mickey Park. They're not giving up yet, and nor should they. Marangi there takes another hit up for Kerwin. Just going to roll through a couple of the props first. Now going to swing wide now. Taylor d throws the dummy, takes the tackle. Good to see the 5 I love seeing a 5 8 get in there and taking a hit up. Baragala, Nanai steps out. Oh, held up good defence, line defence here. Big left foot step there, but uh, read well. Oh, great cut out pass by Baragala there to the winger, unmarked, Ethan Andrews. Exceptional vision by the young dummy half. He just looked up, he, he, he saw the, the Ignatius Park was short on that short side, and he, uh, he, he executed his pass perfectly out of dummy half. Finds his winger on the fly, untouched. That's a great try to Kerwin Bears. Just, uh, I think Iggy Park made the cardinal sin there, and they didn't man up. They looked, well, they were watching the ball there, and they, because they had, there was two on two, but they just, they were lined up in the gaps, not against the uh, the defence. Even that, in saying that, though, Wavik was sort of rolling on the back there, so they would have put a little bit of confusion in. I, I think, I think the the hard running uh, forward Jeremy Nanai there took a little bit of attention there. Iggy just tried to, to compress the defence a little bit, but the young young hooker there from. Kerwin Bears, Borregella, he was uh, he was awake to it. He threw the cutout pass and found that winger untouched um, over there on the right flank. They're not making it easy though for Harley Taylor though <laughs> for these conversions. And I'm a big believer in conversions win games and because uh, anything can happen in this game. I mean they've scored four tries but uh, and one and one conversion so far. But they're only uh, three try three converted tries away Iggy Park so I mean they're not out of this game yet I can only I can only recall Iggy having uh, having this uh, the, uh, the ball for about four or five sets in this match they, they haven't seen their fair share of possession they just they just really need to, to get into the grind here they just win. need to get a little bit of their share of possession and start working their way back in you can see Taylor making the adjustment on the kick there but that win still held it up the kick was unsuccessful 18 points to nil to Kerwin right now yeah Iggy Park really need an error so they can get their hands on this ball because I just don't think they've really had a huge amount of that ball so far. So, uh, But this is the nature of schoolboy football. If you can control possession, you can score points. Um, we, we've seen Kerwin have been very good at that early uh, in the first half. They've controlled possession very well and they've, they've scored some really good tries here. Good tackle there from Ignatius Park. Kerwin once again rolling it forward. Taya again, once again, taking another hit up. He's a workhorse. He just keeps rolling. 
Oh, good little pass. Oh, no. Nah. Put the ball down. We saw, an, we saw a uh, mistake there by the, the young middle player there in in William Latu. He dropped a pass from Morangi. It was it was actually a very good ball for Morangi. He's he's really impressed me early. Um, and he's and he's first stint on the field off the bench. He's been he's been fantastic, young Morangi. He's a Queensland and an Australian rep in both rugby league and rugby union. He is some type of talent. All right, let's see what Ignatius Park can do here. Knox almost got through a little gap there. Start looking for players uh, like uh, Luke Jack and that when they get back on the field uh, to take some great hit ups here. That's a great run. That's that young Damon Marshall, Queensland rap. That's his first touch. That's a, that's a really good momentum changer there for Iggy Park. The, the, young, the younger Vailalo there, uh, Jacob Vailalo there playing the ball. Oh, good tackle, good driving tackle there on Sean Burke. Looks like Pegararo's uh, had a seat on the bench for a little while there in the uh, Lachlan Lurch, who's uh, the backup hooker out on the field at the moment, searching Iggy, Iggy Park. They really need to get this ball into the end goal to get themselves another set of six here, to give themselves half a chance here. That's a lovely kick. That's a good kick to the wing. Oh, very unlucky there. I think that'll be a 20 meter tap. Uh, that looked like McCall, uh, yes, uh, McCall the Fickling there. The, if he had got his hands on that, it was try time for Iggy Park. It was it was a beautiful chip uh, chip to that left left wing there uh, for the centre and winger coming through. Hang on, so the touch he said to the 20 metre restart, but the referee's overridden that, and it's a line dropout. You see, you you, you see some of the best halves in the NRL. They've become masters at it. Ivan, Cle uh, the, the, the the young Cleary, Nathan he, Cleary, Nathan yep. Cleary. You see him doing it week in, week out for Penrith, just lobbing it up on the trial line, making it a real contest, putting putting those backs under so much pressure, catching the ball on the trial line. Good take by Hampson off that dropout. It was wobbling all over the place and threw it out to Hill. Hill tackled there. Now Lurch moves into the half there. That looks like Marshall again taking another hit up there. He's getting in there. He's getting some work done. Lurch out to uh, Burke, throwing it through the hands now. Back inside, that's Adam Mitchell. That's who actually took the hit earlier on on the head. Uh, looking quite refreshed now. He's uh, no ill effects from that knock. Berg on to Vailalo there. Got out of the first tackle, passed it through. Oh, crunching tackle by Dodoy there. Great tackle on the uh, Johnson there. Young Zodoy, that is the second big hit he, he's done out there on that in right side in defence. He, he's having a fantastic game in the first half. Wavik there plays the ball. Good take up there by Max Haley there. Baragala, Yallop in there giving some... Oh, he's dodged that first tackle again. He's got some toe on him and he's got a step on him. Very elusive player, Yallop. Travels all the way from Kangala every day for training and for school. So uh, that's commitment to the to the profession, if I can say my say, say so. That is a that is a huge commitment. These these guys, for all extensive purposes, are young professionals. They're rocking up. They're doing their training before school. Uh, and their extras during school and after. You know, they they are very well drilled young young professionals. Oh. Yeah, I thought they were all offside there, Koo, and they were in front of the kicker. Very lucky, Ignatius Park there. He did not look comfortable under that kick at all, uh, Andrew Brunello. But once Good it, touch, Finer. But once that again, we see that wind just playing havoc out there, Morgan. We, we, we oh. see it's making it a real challenge for the fullback when that ball goes up in the air. As a commentator, I don't like to pick on the referees and touches too much, but I think Piggy Park got shortchanged on that kicker. I thought they went further than that, but anyway. Kept very shallow there, but uh, good first hit up there for Ignatius Park for Burke. Marshall, inside ball. Paying catch up footy too early, I think. It just seems to be trying to push that extra pass when they don't really need to. That was only the second tackle. Yeah, uh, they just got to just got to get forward early. They've got some they've got some real big men this Ignatius Park. They just got to get up over the advantage line and, and, and try and work hard for some quick play of the balls, particularly early in the set. Dodoy again, searching outside. He's got outside his player. Flicked it out to Andrews. Back inside. Try time, Kerwin. That looks like that may have been Nanai. That is, a, that is sharp play on the right side of the field. Once again. You look at the replay here, Georgie. 
Great ball from Nanoi outside of Dodoi, get outside his player, and then that little flick pass inside to Andrews, and then Andrews back inside of Nanoi. That's just support play after support play after support play. Once again, Dudley Dodoi take a bow. We, 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 we've seen him in defence make a couple of really strong tackles, uh, and in attack we've seen him look very dangerous. And once again, skips through, does a Gidley-like pass to his winger, who, uh, who sets up Nanoi back on the inside to score. That is a great team try, this Kerwin Bears. I'm going to take that back for you, mate. Not get it. Don't worry about Gidley. What about Morgan, 2015, the felty on the outside there? So that's that was Morgan S. In my books, we uh, we, <laughs> we 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 won't forget that one in a hurry. But you know, we we we, we see some exponents of that in the NRL at the moment who, who are just uh, who terrorise wingers with that flick ball, uh, that flick pass. The young, the the the, the centre from. Um, Sydney City Roosters in particular, he is devastating with it. And, um, it that's Manu, is it? Yeah, young Manu. And you can, you, it is just so hard to defend, particularly with, with a little bit of pace. It's, it, is, it, it is very... The biggest thing I liked out of that, though, was the fact that uh, Ethan Andrews, uh, the, the winger, didn't get white line fever and he heard the player on the inside and uh, instead of trying to bust through the tackle, he passed it out to Nanai and, and Nanai scores. Conversion is successful. That makes the score 22 points, uh, sorry, 24 points to nil. So young Nanai, he, he has really shown some class out here today already. He's a Queensland Australian rep. He he won the he won the Michael Morgan Medal for best and fairest uh, earlier this year as well, and here he is again off the kickoff. He's running the ball very very strong. He's hungry. Like I said, they shut him out of the game two weeks ago. Iggy Park did a very good job in keeping him out of the game. Whereas I think this week he's made it upon himself to uh, make a presence, and um, I think that presence has been felt. Oh. Chaffield Mooka there trying to throw that loopy out the back there. Probably wasn't needed at that stage. They've lost a good five metres on that one. But uh, Clay George with a cutout to Jesse Yallop. It's been called forward though. Geez, that's a hard call. That's a really hard call. For mine to look backwards out of the hand. But we, are, we won't criticise the ref here. But here's an opportunity for in good ball for this Ignatius Park side. 35 metres out. They really need to get on the scoreboard. Did a good scrum set here and a good play off the back of the scrum. Really, play the hooker all your life, Georgie. Is it as fun in those scrums as it looks? Oh, look, they're, they're certainly not as scary as a place as they as, as they once were. Uh, you, you, you had to be able to uh, you had to be able to fight or have a hard head when you packed into those scrums back in the day. But uh, I don't think they're as bad as they are today. Great as they run were back then. Great run from Trey Valentine there. Vailalo now back on the Isaiah. Isaiah is back on the field there. Good bustling run here. They need to score here. They need to give themselves every chance of getting back into this game. And the try here right now will set that up for them. Hampson back inside the hill. Six to go is the call there. He's over. Still going. Back inside. No. He had to. He had to pass that one. Otherwise, he's going to be pushed out. Not sure what the call is here, though, from the referee. I, th I think he's called. I think he's called as being touched by a Kerwin player as it got thrown back inside. Right. By, by the big centre there. Uh, it looks like it's going to be Ignatius Park scrum and feed ten metres out. They really need to get across here to make this game in the second half. All right. Looks like uh, Puavasi here is uh, down with the trainers at the moment. Referee's called uh, time off there. Really, no, really noticeable for me in this first half is, is the difference between the two packs. Kerwin are really getting over the advantage line, and and in numbers they they're pushing up for each other. There's a, they've got an option on the outside, and it's really holding off the defenders from this Ignatius Park outfit. Uh, I guess one of the downsides to this, Georgie, with schoolboy uh, foot, even though the referee calls on, the clock keeps running. Um, so. They could miss out a time here to get themselves a chance to attack at the line. That's cer that's certainly a shame for this Ignatius Park, who are desperate for points. And a try here just before half time might put them right back in the match. That is half time, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the score 24 points to nil, uh, five tries to nil so far. Try scorers for Ke uh, for Kerwin, uh, Ragsy Wabick, Jesse Yallop, Ethan Andrews.
Cruz Smith and uh, Jeremy Nanai and two goal conversions to Harley Taylor to take us into halftime. 24 points to nil. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back very shortly with the second half between Kerwin State High School and Ignatius Park. Well, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Second half about to get underway. George, how do you break down that first half so far? Yeah, look, it, it was, it was one-way affair that first half. Kerwin controlled the ball really well made very few errors and they look really sharp and attack they, they carried that ball really strong uh, and unfortunately in the first half we haven't seen Ig Ignatius Park be able to build any pressure uh, they need to control the football and and try and build some pressure and and get some possession to get, bring themselves back into this match yeah definitely going to be a big ask for the park boys in this second half but I, I i think they've got the hearts of gold to get out there and make it happen so uh uh, I look forward to seeing some big hit-ups from uh, Isaiah Vailalo. Um, and also, the biggest thing I, I find, with, you know, with obviously with Trey Valentine playing in the prop, and, you know, being a little bit undersized and that kind of stuff, but he's got a great step on him. And uh, I really want to see him getting that ball with a bit of space in front so he can actually utilise what he's good at and uh, be able to put those big props on their back feet and get around them. Yeah, definitely. I, th I think they get a little bit of possession. We've already seen this Kerr and Bears side, when they're made to do repeat um, sets in defence, they, they start to fatigue. If it's taking them a little bit long to get back when they're asked to do a little bit of defence. So if we if we can see Iggy Park put a little bit of pressure on, get a, uh, get a few consecutive sets of six, you might see them come back into this match. But they've got to start running in numbers and they've got to start getting over this advantage line with a little bit more vigour than what we saw in the first half. Definitely wise words there, Georgie. And um, it was good to see what happens here at the start of this second half. 24 points to nil so far, but uh, not prepared to write off yet. Um, but uh, Iggy, Park, Iggy Park definitely need to score first in this half. That wind's playing a little bit of uh, havoc with the ball there, but uh, happened a couple of weeks ago. We had one of the trainers out there with the finger on top of the old ball. I haven't seen that since under eights. And we're away. Big deep kick there. It's taken well first up. Marshall, by the looks of it there, to take that first hit up. Here we go, Isaiah Vailalo there. The big man, good drive. That's a better, better hit up there. Good drive in the leg there to get through. Get those uh, post-contact meters happening. Unlo unlucky not to draw a penalty there too. It looked like a bit, a bit of work on the ground there by, by the current defenders. Crunched up a little bit there, Burke. He uh, come up a little bit slow there. Good ball on the outside. That's a good quick play. The ball got the defender out of there now. <coughs> Marshall with his second hit up of the set. Fantastic first set, up over the halfway, 40 metres out, in position oh, for I an attacking kick on the last. I think the referee may have lost his whistle on that one. Held down on the play of the ball a little bit too long in my liking, but uh, here we go, here we go. Rolf's got some space too. He's got some toe on him. Six to go there. They're, they're shot on the right side of the field. Lurch, just a bit of patient footy here from Iggy Park, and they'll, there it is. Probably should have happened in that set before as well, but uh, we'll see what happens. They're holding down in the tackle. It's going to take the quick tap here by the looks of Eddie Park. Uh, Lurch going to throw out Isaiah Vailalo here. Big run, push through. They've done well to hold him up here, though. Still working hard, though. Trey with the second run in. Yeah, crash ball for Trey is not his... That, that's not his play there. They really need to give him some space out there. Burke, oh, tight... <laughs> Tie tie up very quick there, Borragala. And once once again, we we, we saw that Knox. Oh, I don't know if he's got that down. I think they play the ball there. Got to get out. It looks like they've got numbers to the to the right here. They got to go out that way. Good cutout ball. Oh, about time. That's great play from Ignatius Park. Got to applaud that one. Uh, that looks like that was uh, that would have been uh, Hampson, uh, Eddie Hampson over there in the corner. Young, young Eddie Hampson, he's, he's looked likely on a few of his touches um, of the few he's had in this match so far. We see a little bit of sustained pressure from Eggy Park and they've come up with points early in the second half. They're going to make a contest out of it. Good little wraparound there. Just didn't seem to quite read that too well. Kerwin at the back there. There's a little bit of uh, moving off the back of the ball, which put a bit of doubt into the defenders' minds. So uh, 
That's why that try there, and they had numbers outside as well. So even if the defender had it got to him, there was the winger outside him as well. So it would have been, in my eyes, try time no matter what. It just goes to show that both these sides have got some really good attacking um, players on the edges. We just really need to see this Iggy Park just look to run a little bit more in pairs through the middle of the field. We saw him a little bit one out there. They got a little, they got a bit disjointed there. Uh, in that set, but they they gave the ball a little, little bit of air. They spread it to the to this right edge, and uh, that was a great try from Eddie Hampson. So I gave him the mockers early on, but look at this for uh, push across the front as well. They all seem to be struggling from that side of the field into this breeze. So uh, that was Thomas Duffy there. Uh, he's also a. Uh, a a uh, Cowboys uh, contracted player as well and a Queensland schoolboy. So, uh, like we said, there's a plethora of Queensland schoolboys players out there for both sides. Uh, abundance of talent. And and uh, we'll, I, I have no doubt we'll see plenty of these young players go on and play at the top level. But I'll, I'll tell you one thing, Michael, they, they won't forget these days. These are some of the best days uh, in your footy career. Playing with your, your mates you've gone to school with, uh, experiencing these big occasions, and uh, I, I'm sure it'll have a special place in their in, in their hearts forever. It's always the way. I mean, like I, I didn't have an illustrious career like yourself, but I did get to play for Kerwin Bears back in '92, '93, in my senior years at Kerwin, and uh, played along the sides of like Andrew Meads and you know and Farron Anderson, players like that who went on to uh, forge a career in the NRL. Yourself, obviously, start off at the schoolboy level and we're lucky to get to step up into uh, to the professional world of rugby league. Good run there from Trey Valentine. Just a yeah. Give him a little bit of a, a bit of a massage there. Nothing like a bit of a prop massage to get your day going. Yeah, look that that that's a that's a big mis that's that is a big mistake there. Uh, to, to, to give this possession across the Eggy Park and give him another ch chance here again and good good ball 40 metres out off the tap. Braithen Knox here. Oh, out, bumped out of the first tackle. I'll tell you what, Chris Smith come out of that pretty ordinary. Yeah, it looks like Chris Smith has had a bit of a, a head clash with the big with big Nanai. Uh, Nano is, come, uh, is looking a little bit worse for wears out of that head, uh, head collision. Nothing worse when it's friendly fire too, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, two players looking a bit uh, worse for wear there. I, I, I'm not liking this at all. I think you'll find that uh, Cruz Smith here will come off. Uh, I can't see him stepping back up and getting back well. I hope they don't, to be honest with you. I mean, the way the HIA is these days with that. Uh, Rugby League, uh, you've got to look up most care for these players. I mean, these guys are only young and they've got a long career ahead of them. No need, no need to push it now. We, we were probably lucky we we're probably lucky to see Adam Mitchell still on the field. He, he had that heavy head knock early, but he's, he, he seemed to have recovered. Uh, I'm not too sure with the HIA rules of the NRL if he would have been allowed back on today, but testament to the toughness of the young kid. But uh, yeah, Cruz Smith here, it looks certain to come off for a little bit of a spell unlikely to continue in this match. He's looking very, very groggy there. But uh, obviously this is what Iggy Park needs though. They just got the start to get this roll on the second half and trying to grab the second half and, and, and pull this game back into the balance uh, a little bit there and uh, see what happens from here. This break sometimes doesn't always go to plan though and uh, hopefully they're, they, uh, they're smart about it after this, from this play the ball coming on from here. We spoke earlier about controlling possession. We, we, we spoke a bit earlier in, uh, in this uh, call about controlling possession and 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 and, and, and putting on points. The, both sides here are capable of put, putting on back-to-back uh, -back tries if they can just sustain a bit of uh, consecutive possession. And we've got Ignatius Park on the attack here. Another try here will throw him right back into this match. Tyrone Strickland on for Kerwin now to replace Chris Smith. He's, he's in another planet at the moment. Uh, so... Uh, uh, all wishes go out to him and, uh, and a speedy recovery from that uh, head knock. He's, he's really had a good game here. He's been really strong in all his carries, young Cruz Smith. He's, he's been a really good performer for the Kerwin Bears. He'll, he'll be sorely missed in the second half. Going the hands out wide here. That there, taking the ball up is Mitchell. Quick play, the ball needed here. Pegararo back on the field. Isaiah Vallelo there takes another good hit up for Ignatius Park. They're on a bit of a roll here now. Pegararo. Georgie, you'll, you'll be impressed watching Pegaro here if he gets the opportunity. That should be six to go. That was knock on by Kerwin there. That's been missed by the touch judge. That's a 
that's a terrible call. Good tackle by Trey Valentine, though. Unfortunately, Friggy, they, they weren't able to build a bit of pressure there. So it, we, we see, once again, Kerwin rolling out from their end with this big breeze behind them. They'll be looking to put the ball deep on the back end of this set. That's a good run by the centre there, uh, Max Haley, giving the props a bit of a rest here. Oh, geez, I tell you what, that was flat at best. Oh, and it's gone double-edged sword there. I, I honestly personally felt that was forward pass myself and then to be called offside on that one as well. They, they got away with one there. They got away with one, Kerr, and certainly looked forward off the hands of young uh, Byra Geller, but uh, it flung back in their favour. They've got the penalty. They'll be attacking about 10 metres out from this Iggy Park line. Iggy Park need to hold their heads up on this one, though, and uh, defend strong on this one to get themselves back into this game. Kerwin score here. I, I don't want to really say it, but it could be a game set match if they get another try here. Be a big ass to come back from that. Oh, interesting little play here. Rags, Ragsy Wavick, he's over. I want to watch this again on the replay, Georgie. We'll go have a look at this one in a second. They'll come back up here. I missed half of that, but uh, from the tap here, Byra Gala takes his time as he has been all the time, throws it in, and then the ball back inside from, uh, look at that. It was a set play. They, they, they had a little trick, trick shot there on the right side of the field. Uh, really good work there from young Wavek. He's, he's shown some great touches in, in this match. It's uh, definitely, uh, that could be the nail in the coffin here. I, I, it's a big going to be a big ask to pull back 24 points with a kick to come uh, in, with only uh, 20 minutes left in this game. It, it, uh, not to say they're out of it, but it's going to be a big ask. Oh, it definitely looks like they're, they're climbing the mountain f uh, at this day, Jiggy Park. But we bring it back to that error attacking the the, the Kerr and try line. Big big mistake on the second tackle. They're not out of the match completely, but they will certainly need to uh, lift lift their effort here in defence and try and keep Kerr and trapped down their end of the field. Yeah, definitely. It's a couple of runs against them there because I felt that that was actually knocked down by Kerwin over there, and and they should should have got it six to go on that one. Um, it was right in front of me here, obviously. Touchy didn't see it that way, but that's the way I saw it. And then to get the penalty when it probably was a forward pass there. Not a good kick off the boot there for Harley Taylor, so we've missed that one as well. That's 28 points to four uh, to Kerwin High at the moment. Just under 20 minutes left in this second I half. I think they've only kicked one, this Kerwin Bears. They've, 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 the apologies, they've kicked two. This scoreline could certainly be a lot worse here against Iggy Park. It's a good, interesting little kick here. It's going to make some choices whether they take it or not. Good set of, good set of, there it is, there's a knock on there. there. There's the opportunity they are looking for. Good work there uh, by Trey Valentine and Luke Jack. Uh, strong work there on the ground and in that tackle. Forced, forced the changeover. Ne need to get the points here out of this set. Definitely need a good, 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 good play from the bottom of this scrum and uh, hopefully uh, Iggy Park can get themselves back into this one. Gonna, uh, I'm happy for him to make a liar of me too, saying it's going to be a tough ass from here, but anything's possible. Oh, jeez. I tell you what, play a late hit there. I hope to see what interest to see what happened there. I don't know if that was on camera there, but uh, Braitha. <laughs> young Braitha Knox take, taken out shortly after passing the football there, but he's plenty tough. He'll get up there and uh, he needs to finish this set off strongly for his side. Isaiah Vailalo there, taking a big charge up. Great metres there. Pegararo dummies once. Braith. I keep going to say Braith and Asta, but he's popped it back to Pegararo. It'd Pegararo be hard to, to stop Marshall. here, Marshall. Kerwin line defence has been outstanding so far in this game. Little short ball, Hill. Oh, needed to be a little bit quicker the hands there. Knock on there. By Ignatius Park but from Mitchell there, trying to one quick pass too many. I think he probably needed to take that one. I think he could have gone over himself. They had him stretched there. Just needed someone coming onto that ball nice and hard. They're just a little bit too pretty on that play. Unfortunately, uh, couldn't come away with points. We, we've got a scrum here on the 10 meter line, Kerr and Feed. You watch, they'll swing this wide very early. It's one of their plays that they have a tendency to do from the scrum, is get it wide quite early. Oh, no. Proved me wrong, crash ball up from the centre there. Max Haley. 
Here, now it's early. Ethan Andrews with some space. He's been, he's been impressive here today, young Brunello. He, he scored a good try earlier off. Uh, apologies, Ethan Andrews. He's been very impressive. Scored a good try earlier off Dudley Dutoy. And again, another strong carry from him there. Won a penalty for his side. That's a good touch finder there for Kerwin. About 35 metres out from the try line. We'll see what uh, they've got from this set play. Oh, to no one there. They picked up well by Puavasi though. Looks like he might have knocked it on though, on the ground. Starting to get a little bit of niggle in this one now, which is not unusual between Nash and Spark Kerwin, I've got to be honest with you. Just, just, just not, not finishing this off at the moment, Kerwin. Just, not, just, just coming up with a few unforced errors. Just inviting, inviting Ignatius Park back in into the match at this stage, looking unlikely that they may come away from it. But just, just, just giving them a bit of an opportunity to get back on the scoreboard. Ball of Fickling there. First hit up off the scrum. Pegararo into half. Rolf. Oh, that's big defence from Kerwin. Ragdolled him over the over the sideline there, and they're celebrating. That was a huge effort. A little bit. Uh, you can start to see the niggle get into this one a little bit there. One of the trainers had to pull one of their boys out of that. That was Gordon Tallis, all over State of Origin. Brett Hodgson dragged off the field on that one. That was uh, that that that's just who wants it more. Props got in there. Forwards got in there. Grabbed the. Poor Raheem Rolf there over the sideline. Not much you could do about that. There was not get the ball on the ground and, and stop the tackle. And they came in numbers, and that's a great sign. They're, they're, they're getting towards the back end of the second half. There's still plenty of enthusiasm and and uh, and, 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 and ex excitement in their defence pattern. And uh, great work from Kerwin Bears to drag him over and win the ball back. A bit of a flat play off the back of the scrum on that one. I could see what they were trying to attempt, but it just didn't really come off for them. Mickey Park read that one well. That's a good hit up, though. Looks like that was uh, yeah Strickland there. I'm sure Coach Todd, Todd Wilson here would love to see this Kerwin Bears, if not come up with a try, roll the ball Jeremiah, into the goal here. and continue building hey, pressure hey, and, and finishing this game out. Can we get the black? Wavik, Wavik just toying with them at the moment, trying to look for that third. Barragalla in there, back inside. Let's look like a little short. Oh, it's out. Great ball. Great oh, ball. little flick to Dodoy. Nanoi with the flick. <laughs> Was that Nanoi? No, I don't know. Yes, I think it might have been. Yeah, Nanoi again there. Great hands. Got the ball out to space. Gave Dadoy, gave young Dudley Dodoy a, a good, some good early ball. Use his speed. Yeah, Nanoi to Dodoy there. That try was set up though. I'm not too sure who took the hit up underneath the post there, but to keep that ball alive and get that ball out from that uh, tackle there, where it could have quite have easily gone to the ground. It was a, it was a great on offload by one of the Kerwin middles there. But once again, you saw Wavik there and his his skills as a half, just sniffing around his forwards. Uh, he got the offload and he was and he was smart enough to shift that ball to space. He found Nanoi, uh, moved the ball well to Dudoy, used his speed. He's had a great game. Dudley Dadai, he'd be right up there in line for me in the match today. Oh, definitely, he's definitely up there. I mean, it's one of those things, defensively, he was pretty tough in that first half. Uh, done some good tackles there and that. And just positional play, it's going to be tough. I'm glad we don't have to pick the man of the match for this game. But uh, it's uh, 32 points to four with the kick to come. Just over 13 minutes left in this one. This is a, a Harley Taylor from fairly well out wide, probably about five metres in, just 20 metres back. Off the boot well, but uh, really struggling with this win today. Yeah, it, it is blowing an absolute gale here today. Very difficult for the kickers, very difficult for the catchers. You've seen on a few occasions the ball's gone up high and the fullbacks have had big troubles trying to deal with it. Uh, kicking off here now, Ignatius Park into this big breeze. I'm sure Kerwin will want to finish this game out off professionally, get ready for next week's final. Short kickoff here for Ignatius Park. I think that's play on.
this Kerwin defence, still very willing, still coming off the line with speed, contact very strong. Not giving up at all, are they? They're just, they're just, that's a good bustling run there from Isaiah Vailalo there. Got his, poke his head through. Got it. Bra Braithen knocks there. He looks like Braithen Astor. He plays like Braithen Astor. Nice pass from Clay, uh, nice pass there from Thomas Duffy. Just need someone running off that one. That's a good, that's a good run from Jacob Vailato there. Still very one out though. No one just pushing up on the outside, looking for that offload. Knox, oh, taking a bit high there. Yeah. Oh. It was a, yeah. bit of a bit of a tough one to take there from Trey Valentine. Did well to hold on to it towards the, but then taken as he was falling, lost that one forward. Did take a little bit of a knock around the head though. And I, I know he was falling in the tackle, but uh, I thought rugby league these days, if anything around the head, there's going to be a penalty. So obviously uh, not the case in this one. Yeah, difficult for these these referees here. They, they don't have the benefit of the video replay, unfortunately. But contact certainly did look a bit high there, uh, and it came up for error from young Treo Valentine. Just a bit, just a bit of the line speed just has come out of this Ignatius Park side, and you can just see now this Kerwin Bears just rolling down the field and, and getting over the advantage line quite easily at the moment. George to Wavik. Wavik puts the kick in. Haven't seen too many attacking kicks. Because this, this is one of the reasons why though, if Rolf gets a space here, he just goes. Maybe that's why they haven't been kicking because players like uh, Raheem Rolf here quite easily returns balls like that each and every time. So uh, maybe they were sort of just trying to keep it out of there. And, and that, uh, another good run there from Iggy Park. Looks like Hathan Hill there, the fullback. Now uh, the winger in there, uh, Brunello. This Luke Jack. Luke Jack finds a gap, pops it off. The call of Fickling there. Dato good good Dato tackle. Dato once again in a strong tackle. Luke Jack. Ooh, Vailalo met solidly. This looks like a good kick. Oh, taken well by Ragsy Wavik there. Pops it outside. Here we go, Jesse Yellop, giving him some space. Oh, little bit of ankle tap there. Very fortuitous little ankle tap because I think Dodoy, it was away. They're just lining up now, aren't they? There's good tackle by Luke Jack there to slow that play down. Space on the right side of the Fire field Gala. as they look to shift it. Left foot step. Bounces off the tackle. That was very Roy. That was, <laughs> for those that don't know who that is, that's Roy Borregella. <laughs> Ty Ty's father. Just runs in, pushes him off, and then keeps going again. Runs like a brick. Looks like a brick. He's got a bit of his, he's got a bit of his old man strength. Oh, I think he fumbled it there, though. Looks like a knock on there from Kerwin or. We can see a bit of frustration now starting to pour out of this Ignatius Park side. Unfortunately, the game's starting to get a little bit away, away from them with eight minutes remaining. 32 points to four in favour of Kerwin State High. Uh, look to be marching on to the grand final next week. Good to see the skipper in there, Clay George, telling his players that, hey, settle down. No need for it. Let's not ruin it now. Well, let's finish the game with everyone on the field, not no one in the bin. Well, it's important. They, they don't want to lose no players with uh, a moment of uh, stupidity. Uh, they, they look on their way to a grand final next week. Uh, I'm sure they want to finish this match out with all their plays healthy and uh, ready to line up next week as well. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. So the winner of this game, uh, which looks like possibly at this stage will be Kerwin High, uh, will take on the winner of Palm Beach, Kurumban and Kibra State High School, which is being played this afternoon at 5.15. Been really impressed with uh, young Morangi off off the bench. Uh, all his involvements, every time he's come on, has been very Nathan strong. Hill. Oh, that could be a knock on there. Yeah, and the referee's seen it. No.
and we saw a little chip over the top there by by the the, the young Ignatius Park half. Uh, unfortunately, his chases were inside the ten. We see a penalty awarded to Kerwin, who are looking for touch now. Uh, kick from the 40 meter line. Nothing, nothing like a trainer out there to try and tell the referee how to do their job, is it? And then and, and get it wrong. Well, it's unlike Dave Ackers <laughs> to really be trying to tell a referee how to do his job. It's really out of character. What he was trying to get at though, people though, is, is that obviously from the kick, normally with the player offside, but the problem was that Cathan Hill took another kick and that's when the player was offside. So right. that's where the referee's taken it from. So that's what the ruling is there. Whether that be right or wrong, I don't know. I'm not a referee, but uh, We'll see how we'll just roll from there. They got the penalty anyway. I'm not too sure what they're <laughs> too phased about. They've got the ball in their hand right now and taking the hit up there is uh, Morangi. Great footwork and offload from Morangi there. Ah, just let him play the ball there. They're shorting their own uh, the 10 metre up there. I, I'm a big believer in that. Just taking it back and replaying the ball there. No, not in my books. I think this is going to go right now. Just off the back there. Oh, oh Nanai, Nanai. Nanai. <laughs> sensational. Oh, with the big swan dive to finish that one off. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I've been holding off and saying, but I think you could almost say that's game set match. Uh, that, 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 that certainly is. Uh, and once again, it's fitting that we see yeah, Nanai get over the try line in the second half. He's been fantastic for Kerwin. Uh, he's, he's had a hand in a number of tries, and, and, we, and we see a beautiful line run there. And the big swan dive, he liked it. They're celebrating. If that had been me doing the swan dive, I would have winded myself and busted a rib just quietly. <laughs> so uh, I, I get nervous when I see players starting to do that, especially when you've got a big game again next week. I'm a bit very excited to see this Kerwin Bears team uh, just really enjoying the moment together. You can see how much it means to them. They've they've, they've come in, they're celebrating this win. Uh, I'm, I'm sure they're, they're jumping out of their, their skin uh, knowing that they're, they're going to line up in a grand final next week. As has always been been the uh, motto for Kerr and I, both when you were there and when I was there, 110%. Uh, they've given that today. It's uh, definitely uh, easy to say, see that they, they were never going to give up on this one. Yeah, look, uh, partic particularly in, a, in attack, their, their effort's been fantastic. Uh, I, I think the only criticism I, I could have of this Kerr and Bears side on a couple of occasions when... when Iggy, we were able to control a little bit of possession. We, we saw a little bit of walking creeping into their, uh, into their defence. A little bit slow to get back on uh, kick returns. So uh, a little area for them to work on next week, but um, everything else has been first class. They're, this has been a very professional and polished performance from this Kerwin Bears team. Harley Taylor with a successful conversion there. That makes the score 38 points to four. Just over four minutes left. This one, another short kick. Taken well this time and bust through. Oh, and he looked out too. Interchange player on there now, number 14, Ethan Roberts on uh, for Kerwin. Getting all their players out there, trying to get uh, some meters and minutes under their belts. Oh, geez, flat at best. Very flat at best. That looked like one of your specials, George. And, and it was called, and it was called. Uh, so we, we, we're seeing a, we'll see a scrum here packed down on the halfway line. Three minutes and uh, 40 seconds remaining. We, we, we get to see a final opportunity for Ignatius Park to get some points on the board. It will be, no, it will be nice to see him finish off with a try here. Just to, uh, I mean... Uh, not taking anything away from Kerwin, I think the scoreline does represent the game being so far. They've had, I think the Park have had their opportunities, but very few and far between. Uh, we'll see what happens off the back of the scrum. Pegarara off the back of the scrum, they're slung to the ground. <laughs> Hampson taking a run from half. Pegarara back in there now, looking for the next run. Look like it might be Luke Jack lining up here to take a hit up. Pops off to Braithen Knox. Still pushing through, though. Probably been one of their better players for Ignatius Park, Braith and Knox today. He's been fantastic. He's, he's had some really good carriage of the football. He's been strong in defence. Oh. Unfortunately, they haven't been able to control... Six to go has been the call there. <laughs> and here he is again, Knox now, yep. coming out of dummy half. Guys, he's going to go close oh. here. And he's I think he may have got over, ladies and gentlemen. That is reward for a good game from Braith and Knox. Braith and Knox with a try. That that is definitely reward for Braith and Knox. There he's been, like I said, their best, probably their best player on the field today. 
and uh, well deserved uh, try for him. That's uh, Ignatius Park's second try for the match. Uh, they, they, they have been outclassed today, this this Kerwin side. Eight tries to two. It's been a very dominant performance, uh, but it's very, very good to see them uh, keep fighting right through to the end, this Iggy Park team. Conversion, very quick conversion was successful there for Thomas Duffy. So uh, that makes the score 38 points to 10. Uh, just over a minute and a half left in this one, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, your Aaron Payne Cup champions for 2020. A very disruptive season, obviously, with COVID and a shortened uh, Aaron Payne Cup uh, competition. Uh, the best top two teams uh, from Mackay, Townsville and Rockhampton area. Uh, only playing, taking part this year, so a few teams didn't get to uh, take the opportunity to play in this one. But uh, it's it's been a very good season. I mean, Iggy Park should hold their head very high. Uh, they've played very well all season. Uh, been very professional with the way they played all year. So uh, they should hold their heads held very, very high. It's, sadly, though, the results haven't gone their way today. They really come up against a very, very committed Curl and Bears outfit today. They've they've carried the ball very strongly. Oh, another, and they've, sadly, another error there for Miggy Park. No one taking the catch on that one. So it'll be a line dropout to finish this one off. Might be able to, uh, maybe Curlin might be hoping for a quick kick and they might get maybe one or two tackles in before full time. I'm uh, I'm tipping they'll be looking to attack this right side of this field with Nanoi and uh, Dudai's edge. Little grubber outs. Picked up nicely there by, uh, that looks like Max Haley with the white headgear on. 20 seconds remaining. We've probably got time for another two tackles in this half. Albasi there. They're looking to shift here to the right side of the field. Here it comes now. Wavik, dummies, takes the tackle. I'll get one more out here now. Looks like Kerwin may, oh no, they've lined up well now. Roberts, Tabira Gala puts a little chip through. Looks like E Park had picked that one up. And that is full time, ladies and gentlemen, your 2020 Aaron Payne Cup champions, Kerwin State High School. Big congratulations to Kerwin High. They've uh, played well all season. They've uh, reversed the result from two weeks ago in that last round game against Ignatius Park. It's uh, a list of try scorers here. We'll go through through the try scorers once again for Kerwin High. Uh, Ragsy Wavick with two. Jesse Yallop, uh, Dudley Dodoy with one. Uh, Ethan Andrews, one. Cruz Smith with one. Uh, Jeremy Nanoy with two. With three conversions to Harley Taylor. Uh, Ignatius Park, two try scorers, Eddie Hampson and Brayton Knox, uh, and they won conversion there as well to Ignatius Park. Georgie, what do you reckon, mate? It was a great game uh, played, uh, played in pretty good spirits, a little bit niggly towards the end there, but uh, I guess that's frustration gets into it. Oh, look, uh, there's a lot of passion on the line here between these two schools always. Where There were some really strong performers in this match, um, none more so in my mind than Jeremy Nanai. He scored two today. He had a hand in another three tries, and uh, I'm sure he's going to be right in their calculations for man of the match. Definitely. Well, I think Dudley Doddley will be up there as well for, for, for Kerwin High. But don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, they obviously Kerwin High, the uh, Aaron Payne Cup champions for 2020. They will take on the winner next Thursday. Uh, don't know, time will be advised, but next Thursday against either Palm Beach, Corumban, or Kibra State High, which is a big game in itself. That's a huge game for South East Queensland for the Langer Cup trophy down there in Brisbane this afternoon. So uh, we'll obviously see who will take on Kerwin High in the state final uh, next week. Uh, George Gaddis, thank you very much for joining us today and being a part of the call. Absolute pleasure to be here today. Uh, wonderful being down here and seeing the great, uh, great talent we've got um, running around and uh, supporting the old school Kerwin Bears uh, in, in, in a great win. Oh, definitely a huge win for a mate. Um, thank you uh, for you once again. And uh, very shortly, uh, Michael Luck and uh, and the boys there from the Cowboys will be presenting. I think uh, Aaron Payne's family's here. And uh, also a big thank you to Global as well and also Omni Titan as well for, for putting on the presentation throughout the day. A big thank you to News Corp. Uh, for making this happen and getting this happening here. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Michael Nelson. It's been an absolute pleasure to call these games uh, here in Townsville over the Aaron Pan Cup 
uh, championship. And uh, I'll be back gracing your ears again next week uh, for the state final between Kerwin High and either Palm Beach Currumbin and Keebra State High School. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for hanging around for the presentation. Uh, another wonderful edition of the Aaron Payne Cup final. Um, a, a truncated year this year, 2020, uh, COVID affected, but I'm sure everyone will agree uh, that's watched today's game and the games in the, the weeks leading up to this. It's been a wonderful carnival, um, played in great spirit, so congratulations, everyone. Um, today's winners, Kerwin High School, running out winners, 38 points to 10, uh, wonderful result. Um, Usually we have Aaron Payne here uh, to present the trophies. Um, he's currently assistant coach at the Cowboys, so he's in the quarantine bubble. So we'll welcome today, please put your hands together for his mum, Miss Rhonda Payne. Uh, guys, first presentation will be to the match officials. Thank you very much. Uh, can you guys come up and, and please accept a, a medal of thanks? Um, boys, put your hands together. Without these guys, the game doesn't go ahead today. Thanks, guys. Uh, the runners up this year, Ignatius Park. Boys, be very proud of yourselves. You uh, took some big scalps during this tournament and uh, did a wonderful job. Um, just like to invite the, your captain up to say a few words and accept the medals on your behalf. Uh, um, first of all, uh, I'd like to thank the parents. Um, I know we couldn't have any spectators this year. Um, it's been a big year with COVID, the disruptions and stuff. Um, I'd like to say a big mention to the year 12s at the moment. Um, sorry, boys, that we couldn't do it this year. Um, and to the year 11s, never forget this feeling. Okay, it's been a big thing. Uh, I'd like to thank the, the coaching staff. We've had a lot of staff. Um, shout out to Starkey coming in, Doc. Ahern. There's plenty more behind the scenes that we that we would um, like to mention, but uh, it's too many to count. Um, and to Kerwin, um, I know there's been a big rivalry between Iggy and Kerwin, and it's been a big thing coming out today and putting on a good game of football. And yeah, cheers, boys. The next presentation is for the player of the match um, and a lot of wonderful performers on both sides of the field today. Uh, but the Aaron Payne Cup player of the final is Kerwin High number three, Dudley Dodoy. Okay, uh, next presentation, can I please have the captain of the Kerwin Bears up to say a few words and uh, accept uh, the, the winner's trophy. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Ignatius Park for coming out and um, just having a great game of footy. Um, you should be very proud of the season you have, knowing you have a lot of young followers in your team. Um, secondly, I'd like to thank the officials for uh, making this happen and uh, Townsville Bulletin for blowing everything up and um, getting, getting everyone around it. I'd also like to thank the North Queensland Cowboys for what they've done within this competition. Uh, Rhonda Payne for coming out and um, presenting the medal to uh, the Dudley. And um, yeah, and to our boys, uh, we worked since October for this. Um, you know, a lot of, lot of blood, a lot of sweat, a lot of tears, um, tough camp in Ag Magnetic Island, um, and it's all come down to this. And um, we've got one more job to do, and I think we're gonna get it done.
Crowd of the Kerwin boys come up one by one, accept your winner's medals from uh, Mrs. Payne, and then we're going to have uh, photos with the, the whole trophy. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the 2020 Aaron Payne Cup champions, Kerwin State High School.